With Luka Doncic sidelined due to right knee soreness, the Dallas Mavericks were able to overcome his absence as they defeated the Golden State Warriors 108-106 as the Mavs snapped the Warriors' six-game winning streak. The Mavericks had Kyrie Irving leading the charge. He finished with 26 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists in 42 minutes. And since returning from a right thumb sprain on February 5th, Irving has played in 28 consecutive games with the Mavs as the Mavericks have gone 21 and 7 over that span. And he's averaged 25.6 points, 5 assists, and 4.8 rebounds while shooting at 51.5% from the floor and 41.1% from three point range and 93.2% on free throws. Now, while Irving had a great game, it was P.J. Washington who stepped up in a big way in the absence of Doncic as he finished with a team-high 32 points, had 5 rebounds, 5 steals, 3 assists, 2 blocks, and of course, he had the game-winning basket. Derek Lively II and Maxi Klebo were sidelined, so Washington spent time at the center position, and he was more aggressive trying to score the basketball with Doncic out. Daniel Gafford had 10 points, 15 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 blocks. Hardaway Jr. had 13, and Exum had 11 points and 7 assists. And then the Mavericks, they played that final possession perfectly as they were not going to let Stephen Curry beat them. They blitzed Curry on that final possession, and the ball went to Thompson in the corner for that one final shot, but he missed at the buzzer as the Mavericks prevail and get a big time win as you look at Dallas right now guys they're playing their best basketball and they look like the scariest team about to enter the postseason field now guys real quick do me a solid smack that like button and smash that subscribe button down below Mavs fans for more Mavericks content just like this I'll be covering this team a whole time as I have been as we enter the postseason the Mavericks they are playing their best ball at the perfect time they are 13 and 2 in their last 15 games and during that span they lead the nba in defensive rating and trail only the celtics in net rating their offensive rating is 116.2 which is eighth defensive rating 105.4 which is first and net rating 10.7 which is second this is per grant afseth now the mavericks they are becoming the team that nobody wants to see or deal with in a playoff series this is a team that they now rank third overall in net rating, fourth in offensive rating, and sixth in defensive rating. And they've had big wins over major teams to prove that they have what it takes to win it all. And they are getting hot. And it's important to see how, you know, this team is coming together. And you look at since Kyrie Irving returned from a thumb sprain on February 5th, the Mavericks have been a top five offense and defense, and they are 21 and seven in those 28 games. And of course, Luka Doncic, he has his perfect sidekick as Luka is going to be the man who is going to help push this team over the top in the playoffs. And I mean, Luka's playing his best basketball. He's averaging the second most points league-wide at 33.8 and the third most assists at 9.8 and 9.2 rebounds to go along with that while shooting a 76% at the rim. Luka he has just been playing unbelievable basketball and his supporting cast. I mean, they continue to feed off of him. Whenever Luka draws that extra attention, he's going to have many guys who can make plays. And, you know, you talk about Exum, Washington, Derek Jones Jr., Tim Hardaway Jr., Gafford, Green, and Derek Lively II. The Mavericks, they got some nice depth when Luka and Kyrie are commanding all of the attention. And Luka has Kyrie Irving, which is huge because he does have that sidekick that is going to be very, very valuable in a playoff series that can take a little bit of the pressure off of Luka. And that's just going to make Luka even perform at a much better level. Now, guys, before we continue on with today's video, I want to shout out our sponsor, BetUS. BetUS is the number one online sports book in which they are offering 125% deposit match up to $2,500 on your first three deposits. That means if you put in $500, you will have $1,250 to play with. BetUS has 24-7 customer service and 24-hour payouts. Click the top link in the description to receive your bonus today. We're also giving away a $125 in free play. So the first five people to DM their account to me showing their account number on X 
will receive $25 in free play. It doesn't get any better than that. Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins. When you look at Dallas, how they stack up right now, guys, they got enough size, they got enough shooting, and they got the star power to take down anyone. And really, with the way this defense has been playing, which has been the most impressive part to me, because remember, before they made those trades, the Mavs didn't have a good defense. Dallas, they got everything checked off. This is a team that could push anybody to the limit in the West, and they got what it takes to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the reigning champion Denver Nuggets, who are a lot of people's favorite to come out of the West once again. And when you look at the Western Conference picture this year, you're talking about this Mavericks team that can realistically make a deep run. And a lot of people are starting to take notice of what this team can possibly do once they enter the postseason field. And it's crazy because you look back at the moves that the Mavericks have made. Just put it in perspective, guys. ESPN gave the Mavericks a D for their trades. They gave the Mavs a D when they traded for Kyrie Irving and a D to the Mavericks when they traded for PJ Washington. And here the Mavericks are, those trades later, in prime position to make a run. So it's really, really a great thing to see if you're a Mavs fan that the moves that were highly questionable at the time by media people, just pundits in general, it's those moves that have the Mavericks in their best position in years. What's going to be important for this Mavericks team is, you know, right now they're in a good position. If they get fourth, fifth, or sixth, they will have at least five days off with no games because the playoffs begin on April 20th. So that will give this Mavericks team a much needed break as they can get rested and look to play their best basketball when it matters. So Luka, Kyrie, the rest of this Mavericks team, this is going to be a team that you do not want to see. And Kyrie Irving in particular, remember guys, he was a huge help to LeBron James bringing a championship finally to Cleveland. And Kyrie Irving, you know, he was playing great basketball next to LeBron at the time. Well, he's arguably playing better basketball now. And he's next to a guy in Luka Doncic who is playing at an elite level, at an MVP type level. And it would not surprise me if Luka ends up winning the MVP. So the Dallas Mavericks, nobody is ready for what this team can do. This is going to be a fun team to watch. And right now they got a complete team, guys. So Mavericks Nation, let me know. Are you feeling confident about this Mavericks team going into the playoffs? And right now, I saw something on X that the most likely first round playoff matchup just on probabilities and percentages, is a Mavericks-Clippers first-round playoff matchup. Now, the Mavs can still get the fourth seed, which would give them home court in that playoff series, but how are you feeling, Mavs fans, if that is indeed the Mavericks' first-round playoff matchup against the Los Angeles Clippers? Obviously, there's a long, long history between those two teams. As of recent memory, that would be an epic series to get us started in the playoffs. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Hit a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. That is it for me. It's Lucas signing off. As always, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you all again in the next one.